This is how my helmet and camera backpack are currently kept. The helmet lives in a boring cupboard where it can't be seen and takes up precious space that could be used for more camera gear. While the backpack gets thrown into a corner until I need it again the next day. So the idea for a wall mounted helmet stand seemed like a good project. That way some of my gear could be more organized and the helmet could be on display like they deserve. Plus there's all this wall space right next to my desk that would be perfect and it's right above my riding shoes. This is my piece of wood. She's quite the looker isn't she? The last project to come out of it was this bicycle wall hanger which is now above my desk. Now I'm not much of a carpenter but I'm not very good at riding motorcycles either and they let me do that anyway. So I put my manly gloves on because I've got sensitive hands and got to work. I'd love to explain to you what the plan was but the truth is woodworking projects never go to plan for me. I work on the find a way to make your mistakes look intentional method rather than the measure twice cut once method but I'll give it a bash anyway. The idea was to have a backboard mounted flush against the wall. A slightly angled shelf on top of that for the helmet to sit on with a stopper on the shelf to stop the helmet sliding off the angled shelf. A bracing would also probably be needed and would add to the angular design. And finally the remaining backboard would get the prized possession. An old piston head mounted to it to hang my backpack on. I'll share the start to the jigsaw cutting montage but the truth is even with guides the jigsaw has got to be the most useless tool ever created. It's definitely user error but I find more comfort in blaming the jigsaw. So I settled on the caveman style to get all the straight cuts done and it didn't let me down in the slightest with beautifully clean straight cuts. I always seem to forget that I hate the jigsaw and mess up a few cuts before returning to the handsaw. Unfortunately I had to make amends with the jigsaw to get all the angled cuts done but we reached an agreement and didn't talk about it again. It needs some cleaning up but I think that'll work. 17 days of manual cutting labor later I had all the pieces I needed to start assembling my creation. The width was now narrower because I messed up the cut twice with the jigsaw but it was actually a better size now at 26 centimeters wide by 40 centimeters long. I drilled pilot holes and sunk all the screws below the surface so the wood could sit flush against the wall. I considered filling the screw holes on top with the wood filler but they looked good enough with their symmetry and the helmet will be covering them anyway. It didn't have anything to do with the fact that I was out of wood filler. I also opted for some wood glue because it had the material I was working with in the name. Someone had drawn a million pencil marks over every piece so I was left with the painful task of sanding them off. And even though the plan was to stain it, the surface needed to be prepped and the edges needed to be smoothed out, leaving the wood looking fresh. Staining is therapeutic graffiti. I opted for dark ebony because it ends up hiding all the assembly imperfections brilliantly. The messy jobs are often the most fun and it came out looking great.
With this staying dry enough to work with, I could get to the part I was most excited about, mounting the piston head. I began buffing it to try and make it look better, but I decided it looked better with its thousands of miles of hard work, markings from being seized in a cylinder, and broken rings exactly the way it was. Originally, my plan was to use this old piston head to stop the helmet sliding off the angled shelf, but then it would always be hidden. So instead, I mounted it upside down to the backboard below the helmet so the backpack could hang on it. This meant it was time to throw it up on the wall. The spirited level worked in my favor for a change and I got to play it with my favorite screwdriver, the right angled screwdriver, which meant there was only one thing left to do. In my opinion, the stand came out brilliantly. It's 10 times better than I ever expected and I love the piston accent on display. Everything is in a convenient place, on display and organized. There's also an unplanned secret compartment for my gloves at the back. I didn't expect it to go how I planned, which makes it even more satisfying. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of the new edition and what projects should we attempt in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next ride.